Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome back to Dave the Diver. This is the game that keeps on giving. I've never played a game quite like this before where it just keeps changing, getting more and more crazy over time. And I've just been having a lot of fun. And today we're just gonna continue that adventure and I hope you enjoy. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. But let's not waste any more time. And let's hop into the game. Let's go. And there we go. I think today... Uh, we have the, yeah, there we go, the VIP. That's what we're gonna start with, which we, I think we already prepared everything for you, right? Uh, damn, we got a lot of money. Okay, it's been a few days since I played every time. Uh, I've been trying to keep the parts every other day, uh, cause, uh, I wanna keep playing this game, and It's so damn fun. Uh, what do we got here? We are just delivering some of this stuff. I quickly wanna check in the restaurant. I don't know if he's gonna be there. Also, apparently... I've been told this by people in this comment section, which, by the way, thank you guys for all the helpful tips on how to play this game, because apparently there's a whole lot more mechanics that I am missing all the time. Uh, oh, yeah, we should feed the cat as well. Hi, cat. Uh, if you have somehow never seen this game, the playlist will always be linked over on the top right. But this is an amazing game where you are a fisherman named Dave and you fish fish from the uh, deep, dark ocean and then you sell them in a sushi restaurant. However, there's a lot more going on than that. Uh, and there's constantly new mechanics dropping in. Um, so what do we have? We are level, what What level are we at right now? We're level gold. How do we even get the next level? Oh, here we go. Uh, we need to get 200 followers. We have 91 followers. Oh boy. We need to get a 250 food rating, which is extremely high. And we can unlock more recipes as well. Uh, but I wanted to look at sending people. Apparently, if you have more staff, which... Some of these are really cheap. Uh, the procure stat here. If you have more staff than you can handle. Let's see. Is anyone good at procuring? None of these are really good at procuring. Maybe this guy's pretty good at cooking. Um, you got pretty high procure stats. What if I put this guy in the dispatch? What is this? Oh, look at this. Dispatch to obtain olive oil. Look at that. So you can send people out. I didn't even know you could do this. You can send them away to try and collect, uh, like, the materials you need to make the fancy dishes. Which, for example, salt is one of the fanciest ones. Uh, that's cool. I think I'm going to have to hire a new person for that, though. So let's, let's just hire the best one. I know you're expensive as heck, but we're going to hire you. Maybe we should just hire someone else. Can we just refresh our list? That's just the following. Yeah, yeah. Let's just do a, a new ad. And then we'll just, from the new people that are coming by, we'll hire the best procure person. Because uh, apparently if you upgrade them, they'll also get better and better. Because people said, please upgrade your people, man. They can get so much better. And I'm like, I don't know, man. I'm just figuring this out. <laughs> I'm just playing a game, having fun. <laughs> Chill, brother. But if you got any tips, feel free to share them in the comments down below. I find YouTube a little bit different. I find it very different from uh doing it on twitch like on twitch i don't like backseating because it kind of takes over the chat and it's just like people telling me what to do all the time and i'd rather just have a conversation about the game like about the fun parts of the game or about other stuff um rather than like constantly feeling like i'm being judged for my actions but on youtube it doesn't really matter because uh, you're not here right now you're not talking to me straight uh, i can just uh <laughs> afterwards see what i did wrong in the comment section and it's a much chiller experience for me uh anyway I got the setup already. Oh yeah, we're collecting these. We're catching. There's so much shit going on. Forgive me if I forget. There were people like, why did he forget he can disassemble guns? What an idiot. And I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> I forgot that indeed. Hey, sorry. Sometimes I don't play this game for several days in a row. And then I play it again and I forget some things. It happens. It happens. But yeah, we're gonna try and disassemble guns. I'm gonna immediately forget it. Don't don't you worry. I'm stupid. Uh, so yeah, Q to disassemble. I completely forgot you could do this because in order to upgrade my hush pistol, I need like 40 fragments or something. So we're gonna have to disassemble a lot. Also, something people told me is apparently you can leave the uh, Sea People Village by just swimming up. I never swam up. I thought you would be stuck in there forever. Uh, until you ended the day, but apparently you're not stuck in there. So yeah, thank you guys for all the tips. I appreciate you um, Anyway, we're gonna do a lot of fishing. We, what are we exactly looking for right now? I think I'm looking for these guys. Wait a minute. What are you doing out here? Just a ra I haven't seen this jellyfish in so damn long There's only one I want these guys because these make like my favorite dish that made like so much money Maybe we can get eggs Right 
Maybe we can get X from you and then we can just like farm them and then we don't even have to worry about it. That would be insane. Uh, we also need sea grapes, which I don't even know what the hell I'm supposed to find this. I think I'm supposed to find those in the limestone cave, which I haven't seen at all. Maybe the limestone cave doesn't exist anymore. Also, sometimes you'll just randomly have a spawn of the environment that's just completely different. Also, we got a bug net last time, which allows me to... Um, what is this? Oh, it's just iron. Uh, iron. Uh, which allows me to catch seahorses, which we can then race in seahorse racing. Oh, what the hell? Hey, buddy. How you doing? <laughs> Good to see you guys. I haven't seen you in a while. The, the cute pink dolphin. I don't know how they got pink. Must have eaten something. Eaten a lot of red onion or something. Ah, the pink dolphin I met before. What if it gets caught by poachers again while wandering around alone? If we raise awareness about it and we maybe make it harder to poach, I should take a picture and get it published in Weekly Fish. Okay. Let's go. Pink dolphin heart shaped. Is it heart? Make a heart. Heart shaped water drop? Do it. Do a heart shaped water drop. That's not a heart-shaped water dog. There we go. I fucked up the photo. <laughs> Shit. Come on. Do a trick. Monkey, do a trick. I mean, dolphin. Come on. Here. I need to focus. I forgot how to take pictures. It's been a while. Heart. Just gonna hit it. And then hard time. You're literally just going in circles, my friend. Why are you eating your own bubbles? I mean, I guess it's like asking why a dog is chasing his own tail. Okay, here it goes. And then I gotta do it properly. Did I get it? Camera focus! I didn't focus. Uh, fuck, the, fuck the drop. I don't care. Just take the damn photo. I'm done with your shit. <laughs> I'm not gonna wait for another cycle. Anyway. Um, bye, friend. See you. See you on the other side. Now oh, the campaign's gonna fail and they're gonna kill pink dolphins look at this yummy sushi you can make from pink dolphins uh it'll be fine hopefully a lot of lionfish trigger fish i don't think i need those i think we're just jellyfish boys now we're just the jellyfish restaurant we just mostly sell jellyfish sushi because they've all been like extremely expensive i wonder if i can get into the sea people village the long way like what if because if I can get out of it, I might be able to get into it even without teleporting. I will take this any chance I get. Look, we got so much inventory. We got 94. I'll take this. I can't. I can't knock you out. Actually, never mind. I don't want to deal with you. Bye bye. Wait, Tri Trivali. Wait, that makes like one of my favorite dishes. Fuck you. Piece. Ah! What the fuck? Ow! 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 Why did it? Like, freeze me there. That was extremely strange. Froze my character for a while. Watch it. You die, sir. Thank you. All right, I don't even want your stuff. I just want to <laughs> get rid of you so you don't fight me all the time. Oh, blowfish. I think blowfish makes a cool dish. We'll get the blowfish. Get the trevally. I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it. Doesn't really matter. Oh no, I need to get you. One time. Okay. Fuck, I'm slow. I'm not gonna get there in time. There we go. Didn't waste anything. I'll take these because th these like shrimp make some insane dishes as well. Black vinegar. I think black vinegar is actually the most useful resource for me because I have like. I need to look into more of the advanced dishes because I've been making mostly just basic stuff made from like a single fish. Sea grape! What the heck? Nice. This is, I, it's super cool. I, I never, I didn't realize that until basically now or like last episode. How they every time spawn some unique in, uh, ingredients every time you, um, oh, come on. You load the load the world. I'm not gonna kill you guys. I want the more sea grape. I want to get the full three-star meal. 
Because if you just kill the, um, the jellyfish, you get less less meat from them. Oh, come on. Where are the bullets? I need some bullets. Our hush pistol was so good. Did I already forget disassembling some weapons? I apologize if I did. I am not always focused 100%, which you may have realized if you watched even a single one of my videos. There's got to be some people... Oh, it's the Megalodon. There's got to be some people that were like randomly stumbled upon my Dave the Diver videos and they're like, who the fuck is this guy and why does he never pay any attention? <laughs> Welcome to the channel, friend. How can I help you? Oh, dude, this guy is so cool. I love that guy. It, like, killing him and taking his meat takes, like, I don't even... Or just, like, 30 kilos, so I'm not really doing it. Trevally. I should probably not waste my ammo on this and just go get the sea fish or the jellyfish, but whatever. I want more Trevally. Oh, God. No, Megalodon! I'm here for these fish. I don't want to deal with you. So large, large and in charge. Get away from me. Saw this thing and I was like, I gotta get it. By the way, that's why I'm over here. I didn't even say anything. Because I wanted to disassemble. Oh, never mind. We'll get an upgrade. Wait, it's only level two? What? Where I had a level three already or something. Did I get the wrong weapon? I may have taken the wrong weapon. Wait. Oh, and it refreshes your gun as well. Okay, now we can get this jellyfish. I love how the trips are getting longer and longer. You're doing more and more stuff every time. I don't even know what this guy makes. I don't think I even want these jellies. I think I want the other one, but I'm just going to get this one just in case it is the exact one I want because I have been known to be an idiot and not actually pay attention to any of the recipes at all. Sleepy boy. That white spot of jellyfish. I think that might be the one. That might be the one we're looking for. Which is cool. I feel like it's basically just the blue... I think the blue limestone cave just does not exist. Outside of the early game quests. And it's just like a natural thing that kind of looks like the blue limestone cave. It doesn't have like the name tag. Because I remember when you entered the blue limestone cave, it would pop it up like it was a fucking Dark Souls uh, area. Where it would say like Firelink Shrine or something. <laughs> Could go way deeper, but I'm actually finding a lot of cool research. Let's check out if there's something in this game. I'm not taking... I mean, I guess I'm not taking these. I already have so much lead ore. I don't think it's going to really give me much. Nope. More of these guys, but I don't have any ammo. Or sea grape. Dude, this is the place to be. And there's blowfish, too. I love it here. That's a fucking tennis racket. The ball flat. What are you? I don't want that. Get away from me. There's oxygen there if I need it. I just need ammo. More jellies. So many jellies. So much secret. I think this is insane. We're going to have such a good evening here. Selling so many damn sushi. We need salt though. We should have sent someone to get some salt. You can always get that later. I'll take that. Where the, where the damn am? What are you doing out here? Isn't this supposed to be a deep sea fish? Man, there's so many jellies. I guess I could just kill them. We have 50 kilos of, of so many sea grapes. That's the one thing I haven't been able to find in so long is sea grapes. So I'm very happy to see it. Fuck. Get out of here. Poison. Also, someone, uh, Someone uh, <laughs> uh, reasonably commented that it is a bit weird to use a poisoned <laughs> poison dart to kill the fish that you're then gonna serve the customers. But hey, um, I mean, I'm not I'm, It's not my food. Food. Okay, I want. I'm gonna get rid of this. Me too. Three fragments. Even better. This is totally the the cave. Just need to find damn bullets and also need to check which one of my jellies is the best a dwarf seahorse that sounds rare or something i don't know maybe I really want the blowfish as well 
Boom. Dude, we're gonna go sicko mode, man. We got so much sea grape. We literally just every time we collect any salt at all. Oh god. Wait, I can't be hit. I can't be hit. I'm fine though. I'm just looking around for bullets here. And then go back into the cave. And I think we're still looking for skulls as well. Even though this shit never gets a skull. I take back my words. The collecting in this game is just... There's something so relaxing to it. <laughs> like, it is better than just your... Like, obviously. It's better than your average, like, fishing game. Like, Stardew Valley is... Stardew Valley is great stuff, too. Like, I've been... Uh, little inside scoop but i want to like potentially one of the goals i had this year is to find someone to like help out a little bit with like maybe the the simple editing so i can spend more time recording because a lot of my days like i sometimes people are like where's dave the diver and i'm like my brother in christ you do realize i upload two videos every day right that takes a lot of work i can't just like i just don't don't just throw up like something straight from stream to YouTube. If a, if a video was like me walking around for... Th That's why a lot of the time on YouTube, I get a lot of... I, I'm like going from one point to the next, but a lot of time on YouTube, I get like huge... Uh, like people complain so much about me complaining, which is fair, like... But whenever... It, it, I don't necessarily complain in ways that are like just complaining for the sake of complaining i always give criticism in a way that i in my opinion is constructive and is like sharing why something is frustrating me um which a lot of time that frustration like doesn't have as much support if i cut out 99 percent of the stuff that was frustrating like for example i can imagine that once i upload visage which that is a beast to edit, by the way. Holy shit, I haven't even started on it yet. I'm just, like, procrastinating. Um, but once I edit Visage, and there's, like, parts at the end where I'm just like, yeah, this shit was actually, like, pretty ass because of this and this and this reason. And then people watching the video were like, wait, but I didn't even get to see that. No, because I cut all of it out of the video because it was just me walking around for fucking three hours straight doing absolutely nothing. Like, I cut that stuff out of my YouTube video videos because it's not just like that's what the VODs channel is for if you want to watch the pain and suffering which by the way sometimes random people find the VODs channel that are not just like regular stream viewers just because the YouTube algorithm does its thing um and they fucking light me up in the comment section there sometimes I get some comments that are just like people he does not understand how to play video games and I'm just like my brother in Christ you do not understand how to listen to anyone speak ever I literally explain in like excruciating detail why stuff frustrates me. And then someone has the audacity to just go like, Arbidarbidar, you idiot. And I'm like, what the fuck, dude? Look in the mirror. I literally explained my train of thought in like such excruciating detail that I get people commenting, why are you explaining it over and over again? For those people! <laughs> For the people that even when I do, I guess it's I guess it's a losing battle. I guess no matter what I do, if I explain myself too clearly, people are gonna be like, why is he explaining himself so clearly? I already got it on the first explanation. And then, the, and then <laughs> even if I do it a hundred times, there's still gonna be a group of people that's like, um, he, he, he's just an idiot. <laughs> Which, I've, I've, I'm starting to slowly just, like, completely detach myself from the whole... Wait, where the fuck am I going? I think I'm going too far to the to the right. To detach myself completely from all this stuff, because it just... There's just no, no, no stopping it. On either side, you can't... Come on, there you go. Atlantic anger, anglerfish, by the way. Being a streamer can be, uh, being a streamer and YouTube creator can be weird. Cause I like how we are pretty unique. Like a lot of people, and I, I mean, I'm not saying I invented Twitch straight to YouTube content. Cause like a lot of, lot of people do that. But I like how we integrate, how we integrate the, like to the point where sometimes I get questions. Like I got comments on the Dave the Diver videos that were like, Where's the chat? Why did you decide to have the chat not in the video? And I'm like, my brother in Christ, there was no chat. <laughs> I didn't take it off the video. I'm recording it off stream. Like, 
and and then, and then people ask me like why and it and that's a good question why because it's not a horror game it's more chill it's more like can i pick you up thanks thank you um like a different type of experience it's some games that i also just because it's efficient like i have i have two hours in my day today to record some dave the diver oh come on and then uh also stream tonight get three videos in one day just efficient because sometimes like uh the last two days we've been playing scp containment breach which are very large videos uh ton of fun by the way holy shit i can't wait to upload that scp containment breach might be one of my favorite i mean it is definitely one of my favorite horror games of all times but it might genuinely be in the top three for me just because of like how uh incredibly detailed everything is like i i was just continuously impressed like moment after moment with how much like interaction there is between the scps like there's some scps where you have you get like a keyboard like the scp the i'm just gonna kill you guys fuck fuck you <laughs> the um, the coffee machine scp that will like uh give you liquids like it, it'll dispense liquids based on what you type on a keyboard you just actually get a keyboard and you can just type anything death shit <laughs> uh uh you can type god life uh black hole antimatter just all there's like i don't know if there's hundreds but there it felt like they were just endless combinations of things i could try out in the machine it was crazy like the game is so detailed it's amazing also, I'm just catching like basic fish here, but I I'm taking my chance finally. Oh god, don't strike me! Thanks. I'm taking my chance here to interact with this this cave because I don't ever really see it. So hi there. Boom. Boom. Oh, I want to open these as well. We're already almost full. I don't mind i don't think I, like we don't i don't really care if we're doing like 100 percent effective like fill out your inventory max maximize every little bit of it because we already got um i should take this though because we already we're already doing so well in the restaurant we don't really need that stuff i will however decompose or decompose uh deconstruct this thing right here Also, I, it's like a blessing and a curse. Like, my English is pretty damn good. But a lot of the time, sometimes I get, like, flamed for saying sh stupid shit that doesn't really make fully sense for a native English speaker not realizing. Like, I think... I think ignorant comments are my most... And I think that's, that's just the thing that really grinds my gears. Like, when someone... That's the same with, like, someone saying, like... Why is he like why are you so bad at video games when i or like <laughs> who just doesn't engage with my uh criticism at all and just says like you're stupid your 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 mom or <laughs> like some other not not even that because that doesn't even matter that's just like but someone who doesn't engage with the criticism and just like <laughs> uh says you're an idiot for like not being good at this game and i'm like god damn it you're so ignorant your ignorance is is frustrating as fuck also, we should really go to the Sea People Village next day because we got a lot of seahorses. Um, where was I going with this? Oh, yeah. Like, people that are uh, confidently stupid. That are, like, not interacting. What the hell is going on? Sorry. Uh, oh, you brought up a picture of something. Can I see? <laughs> it's just a dolphin. A pink dolphin. It's so adorable. I'd like to take it home. I'm kidding. Great, then. Let's name this dolphin Pinky. And get people to notice. Then poachers won't be able to catch it so easily. Uh, I'll put the picture to good use. I'm sure the readers will love it. 150 gold. Not a bonus gold. There are photo spots all over the place. Yeah, yeah. I will do that. Okay, we need to check the farm as well. Because we might have some weeds in the farm. What is this, by the way? Michael Bang. Oh, yeah. That's the, the guy. All right, I'm like, I'm like podcasting right now. And I'm lost what I was saying. But anyway. Comments are like 99% good. Thank you guys for always being lovely. Did I? No, it's just it's just working. I love the music here. It's so, apparently you can upgrade or something. I thought 
People said that I should talk to this guy because he could upgrade your farm. Or they said that about the fish farm, I think. Let's see. Fish farm. Also, did we get... We probably got... Uh, oh, there's new stuff. Why is this heart here? Wait, why is there a heart here? But there's nothing. Excuse me. I don't understand. Oh, there you go. Well, yeah, it's over... Unable to obtain roe from fish. Okay, so we should take out... You know what? We should take out all the... <laughs> it's a busy place here. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna sell the red lionfish, honestly. I don't see myself really. Let's just sell it. Sell it all. Yes. Oh, we got these stuff. Look at that. I think I'm gonna send the kitchen, the rave shark. Homer can just be sold because that shit doesn't do anything. This also. Trigger fish are fine. I sell that sometimes. And then we got both of these jellies, which I want to have reproduced. So honestly, I'm just going to send like all of the three stars. You know what? I'll send all of the shitty ones to the kitchen. And then I'll leave the three stars and the rest I'll leave here for now. How full are we? 55. Nice. Um, and this is also getting full. My trevallis, which is fine. We want those. I don't want the mackerels. Harlequin skinned. I'll just send it to the kitchen. I know you can always sell it from the kitchen menu, can't you? Uh, coral trout, cuttlefish. Boom. The same. I, I was glad to see though that most people seem to agree with my. Um... Hey, yeah, I don't care. Uh, with my, like, criticism of the autofill system not being very clear. Because I was totally expecting a bunch of comments like, but they said it one time. Like, that is the other thing that's so annoying to me. People not realizing how distract... Like, I'm a very easily to distract person, first of all. Just because of the way I am. Um, and people don't realize that it is totally normal to miss, like, a, like, a single type of... A single tutorial pop-up shouldn't be the only way to tell someone about a mechanic. Like, there might have been a single pop-up at one point of, uh, of like, hey, this is what autofill does. You should use it all the time. And then I missed that. I was totally expecting that to be, like, the, the overall comment section. Like, people just flaming me for not for not seeing the single tutorial pop-up. But it, it, people mostly agreed. People were like, yeah, this is, this is kind of annoying. Uh, anyway, we're going to open new areas. Ooh. Sure. Open a thousand. Open. Expand areas. Wait a minute. Let's keep our money so we can. Because uh, I think we're fine with the. We will definitely expand them, but the 250 is nice. Uh, so we can get some fish from the deep sea as well. And I want to go to the. No, it's going to take a day, right? It's going to take a day before the. Before the applicants are in for the internet thingy. We're just gonna dive more. I have time. I need to go to the sea people. Let's go to the sea people village. And then we can also see how you leave them. Like how you leave the area. Because apparently you can. And I really want to see all the... <laughs> all the seahorses and which of the ones is like actually useful. Also, I'm gonna be on top of this here because there's... You, your oxygen doesn't go down while you're down here. Um... Don't need to help out more people. We got a question mark. Oh, yeah. Every day there's new quests and shit, right? Yeah, they wanted a ball, which was swallowed by one of the big fish. But then I killed the big fish and I didn't get the ball. So I'm not entirely sure how I'm supposed to get the ball. But we'll find out. Maybe. If I ever go back to the... I mean, I obviously go back to the deep sea. Oh, boy. Here. Hi. You don't look very well. Is something wrong? Oh, human. Um, my cute Salgio has disappeared. Salgio? She's my purple pet squid. He was... Or he's my purple pet squid. He was gone when I woke up. When he disappeared... Well, he's disappeared before. He followed the shining jellyfish. A shining jellyfish? Human, can you please find Sir Salgio for me? He's timid, but put his... Put this high-quality food nearby when he's calm to lure him. Got it. I'll try luring him with the food. Okay. Also, I want to talk to you because you got stuff to do. Register. Here we go. Can we see how good they are? Oh my god, this one's insane. Oh! 
Holy fuck. Yes. Yes, please. Okay, we're gonna register this guy. And then we're gonna register these two. These are insane. Because we need multiple, right? That's what they said. And then everything else can go away. Okay. Now, can we do a race? Manage? Can I train them or something? Look at that. I want to race. I'll race the basic race, which my with my super seahorse, like this guy. 54 across the board. I'm going to go insane. Actually, you know what? That's like overkill. Why do these have like up and down? I'm going to use the worst one, but because it's still way better than the rest here. Um, also, welcome to this game, by the way. It is absolutely insane. How do you play this again? You press spacebar, right? Yeah, you press space bar, you keep it. <laughs> they stand no chance, dude. People are getting fucked. <laughs> well, goodbye, idiot. <laughs> yep, I am very fast. Easiest win of my entire life. <laughs> there you go. 21 seconds. Do we get money? Oh, yeah, we get 30 of these, like, coins that we don't even use. Cool. Now we have new races, so we're just gonna race the C race with our, like, so this one we can't really use because it's tired. We're gonna use this guy. Oh, this guy's actually... Why are you worse? You're, be you're better than this guy, but you have a larger bar. Is that because you're stamina or something? I don't know. Oh, because you're just like all across the board. Let's just do you. I don't have to min max this. My seahorses. What the fuck? Oh, I got a slide here. Slide. Oh, you gotta hold it. Oh, fuck me. Oh, God. What the fuck? I'm so fast. It doesn't even matter, but I suck at this video game. Okay, you gotta jump at the right time. What the fuck? I pressed the jump key and it does like the tiniest jump. Do you gotta hold the jump too? Okay, you gotta hold the jump. I see. <laughs> and I still won so big. Oh man, this is ridiculous. Easy peasy. My seahorses are a little OP. So now we use the this one for the other race. And then we're probably gonna have to wait a day. But it's also gonna be can you be a good gamer? Because you gotta do like tricks and shit. And now they're actually keeping up with me somewhat, so I'm gonna have to do. Or is this just a straight race? Okay, this is just a race without obstacles. Easy peasy. But they're actually like keeping up somewhat. 19 seconds. Man, this guy's fast. And that's how we make so much money. Okay, now we can spend all our money like willy-nilly. It doesn't really matter. Okay, can we even do this? Or are my seahorse is going to be tired? Like, what if I... If I try it with this guy? Because I see their stats are down now. Sure, we'll see. So I still look... Oh, no, I got to play the game. I don't like playing the game. It's hard because you got to press spacebar and then you got to hold another button. I don't know if that's just me, but that's... It just kind of fucks with my brain. Okay, but there we go. Now I gotta hold this as well. Yeah, okay. It's actually extremely easy. You just gotta hold the button. That was what I was doing wrong. What the fuck? Oh, <laughs> I thought someone just like... Someone just hit a, a blowfish there. Nice. Still in. Actually, easily. Turns out I had crazy ass seahorses. Okay, now they're getting insane. Look at that. So now I just gotta wait. Just gotta wait to not make them too exhausted. We'll just do this race another time. But anyway, we, we were crushing it. We got so much money now. We could like bet it on these mini games. I'm not here to like spend a hundred years in this village doing min maxing my money. I'm just, I'm just here to have some fun. So let's see, we're gonna call this guy. Yeah, sure, we'll ride him. I got so much money. The, like, what else am I going to spend it on? Uh, let's see. Where are we going? 
I think we're just gonna check out the question mark real quick. That's fast. Which it's over here? Or is it down? It looks like it should be down. Yeah, it is. Oops. So ridiculous, the fucking little... Oh, man. I'm gonna have to get off the thing. Yeah. This is such a weird mechanic, man. <laughs> Oh my, this is it. Thank you so much, How I can finally pre prepare, provide proper food to my customers. I like to hear about you, you humans too. So drop by to chat every now and then. Nice, we got 20 more credit. We got 75, we're almost there. Forgot I had a quest to hand in there. Anything more? I don't see, I see a question mark. Dude, that's ridiculous, you have to call him again? You gotta... <laughs> Is this mechanic, you gotta call this guy. He can't just wait for a second. I already paid for you, you greedy bitch. You gotta pay seven bucks every time I go from one place to another to go moderately faster. Absolute scam, dude. Capitalism reaches the deep sea, too. I see. I've never driven an Uber in my entire life. I don't, I mean, I, I guess I don't really go places, that's why. Uh, what are you about? My goodness, human, this is the one. Thanks to you, we'll be ha able to have the wedding without any hiccups. Oh, you were almost there. We need five more. Come on. I think if you participated, you could become better. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing that. Oh, we're participating in the wedding? Oh, it's gonna be cute. I can't wait. Aw. Here we are, Dave. Wow, it feels different from a human wedding. Of course. Ha <laughs> is that so? You can stay in the back. It'll begin soon. That looks cute. Oh, uh-oh. The tremors. Oh, no, the statue breaks. Oh, God. That must be bad omens. They're going to be like, oh, no, we... Oh no, another earthquake. King King Long's arm. Well, <laughs> oopsie. That's why I'm here. I want to help out. Oh dear, King Long. This is terrible. It's actually a very old statue. We don't have the tools in this village to patch it up. Oh dear, this is not good. Is it an omen of impending disaster, perhaps? Hey now, calm down a bit. Maybe Cobra will have something. I'll try and see if there's anything we can do on the surface. Just wait for a bit. Oh, Dave, please do bring back something. King Long will need your protection. This is going to be our last mission. We need to just talk to the people. So now I want to see this. Um, we're down. Yes. Oh, apparently, which uh, people told me in the comments, you can just go out here and then you can just swim up and leave, which I... This is not how we came in here, so that's why I didn't check up. But apparently... This is how you do it. Let's see it. This would be very helpful to know. So you just... Oh, there's a weapon. I'm not gonna take any of these fish. I'm not really interested. Even though they make good... Um, well, that's actually a good weapon, but I want the hush pistol. Or fragments. Look at that. We're getting there. Can they go up from here? Uh, I'm assuming up in the next room. I am running out of oxygen now. Oh, oh, what the hell is that? Is that the shining jellyfish? Maybe following the jellyfish will lead us to the Lynchens Pat Squid. Okay, never mind. We're quaking, taking a quick detour on this mission. Oh, and now it's going to show us the exit here. Yeah, look at that. You can go up here. Oh, of course. No, this is how we came in, right? We broke this. Something. I don't know. Oh, my God. That's a big shark. Oh, there. He has the ball, too. Oh, that looks like the one that swallowed the ball. Okay, can you wait for a sec? You're gonna wait there? Oh, God. No! He's gonna suck me. Oh, God, he's just gonna kill me. Oh, hit him in the tail. Nah! There he goes. And now he's just gonna give me the ball. I'll take the meat too. 
The ball. Nice. Okay, so it wasn't just any shark. It was a specific one. I understand. I follow you. Just literally, like, politely waiting for me. That's so silly. Thank you, though. I appreciate it. All right, we're gonna unmute that. Hi there. Why are you digging in? There's a small hole here. Maybe it's in here. Try. I'll try using this flashlight. What? What? I love how many fucking mini games there are in this. Oh 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 oh! Where are you? You sneaky bastard! Come on! I'm literally going along the edge. There you are. What a cutie. So I'm just looking at my white balance isn't fucked up because every time I wear blue t-shirts, my white balance... That's why you don't... I mean, it's a specific color of blue. I think it, like, makes my camera think it's, like, the outside air or something. So it, like, fucks up the red balance, but it's it's fine now. Or the white balance. Uh, huh? I think I saw Lynchin's Pat's... Lynchin's Pat's squid. Do I have to find it again? Oh, there you are. Playing a minigame. Yeah, you saw it. There you are. Okay, I'm sure it's inside. Should I check in on it? It's just, we just, it's playing like elaborate whack-a-mole. There is the light. Hi, little buddy. It seems to have calmed down a bit. Let's try luring it outside. Let's try putting the high-quality food here that Lynchin gave us. Boom. We're setting a trap. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> Look at this dude. Look at this dude. He's so cute. There, I should use the bug net to catch catch it. Oh. Great, now let's take it back. Okay, cool. But I can literally just finish both of these quests now. On oh, those crystals. But I don't think I've seen those crystals before. Please be a pickaxe. I appreciate it. Uh, I want to check these. A new type. Yeah, what the hell is this? Is it diamond? I mean, no. Diamond ore? Okay, dude. Diamond ore. We're playing Minecraft. Which I've actually been thinking to play Minecraft. Apparently, there's a fucking 20 second speedrun of Minecraft now. Like a, a tool assisted speedrun that completes the entire game in 20 seconds, which is fucking insane. Like, I watched a video explaining it, but I fell asleep halfway through because <laughs> I, was, I was laying in bed. So I didn't I didn't see the ending, but that's that's absolutely crazy. Like, it, it's genuinely 20 seconds. Like, it's just so optimized because it's like it's played down at it. Not it's not played down at a slower pace, but it was slowed down with the game running at the same speed, like, or the game is still, how do I explain this? The game was slowed down so the inputs could be given at like a highly optimized fashion, but they weren't like cheating by, like obviously tool assistant speedrun isn't like a real speedrun, but they didn't like change the game in any way. Technically you could do what the task did it, it's just humanly impossible because of all the precise inputs that's what i'm trying to say but yeah absolutely insane minecraft is so fun we're gonna be doing uh i'm assuming this yeah this video goes out before then we're gonna be doing a very long stream it's actually the first time i talk about it i should say it on stream uh we're gonna be doing a very long stream on july the 16th all day basically um because of the my five year stream anniversary Feels way longer than five years, but I guess it's been five years. Wow, what's the ball? You really brought it back for us. Phew, it was really scary. You kids stay inside the village from now on, okay? Okay. I guess humans aren't all bad, unlike what we were told. Hope to see you again, human. There we go. We got credit. And we did it. Build trust. Now we just go back to the return to Tenzin. Let's talk to him. Obviously, there's more missions. We should bring back the Lynchian thingy. That seems, seems like a nice thing to do. Um, 
because he was so cute. And I don't want to keep him in my inventory. I don't want to accidentally pile him on in the sushi restaurant. And like, uh, sorry, we ate your octopus. And they're going to be like, humans are monsters. We can never be friends. Ah, <laughs> uh, Selgio, thank you, human. I was afraid I'd never see my pet again. It was difficult to bring your pet here. I'll make sure this never happens again. 50, bye. Look at that. So much money. Here's a, another small gift for you. A so Wait, can we hang this in the restaurant? <laughs> I'll hang it up in the restaurant. Let's go. Please drop by the casino from time to time. No, thank you. Not a great fan of casinos. I mean, it's not really a casino here. You can just like win money every time. Unlike regular casinos, which are only made to destroy human lives. Um, We should talk to the king, right? I Look at this fucking guy. What's wrong with you? Hello there. He has like two facial expressions. One is this and the other is like super angry dad. There's there's no in between. Enzen's house. Mm. Seems the villagers seem to trust you quite a lot. I'd first like to thank you for everything you've done for our village. It seems like everyone's friendlier than I thought. Don't trust, they don't trust, I don't trust you fully yet, but we could use all the help we can get right now. Let me explain to you about this village a bit. Did you see the tree at the center of the village? Yes, it was huge and covered in ice. Yes, we call it the divine tree. We use the fruit of this tree as an energy source. The tree has its roots far below the bottom, using the geothermal heat to create energy. Because the fruits are created from this energy, there's a giant glacier under this tree that is under our village. A glacier on the sea bottom. I've never heard of such a thing. But as of late, the heat coming from deep up in the earth has grown hotter, melting the ice slowly. As the temperature of the tree increases more and more, villages are falling ill. We keep praying to King Long, but we know things aren't so simple as that. We need to check on the glacier below the surface. Because we've relied on only ar ar agriculture for so long. We don't have the equipment or technology to explore down there, embarrassing as it is. That's why I told you we need the human's help. I must admit that is now our only option, my daughter. In any case, I know it's a difficult task, but will you check out the glacial area below the village for us? That sounds very dangerous, but alright. There have been more tremors on the surface as well. I think all this might be connected somehow. Thank you. We'll be sure to recompense you somehow. Now then, you might need the key down to the glacial passage. The key? Where's the key? Oh god. Tenzin, when we seal the glacial passage, we put the key inside the abandoned cave, remember? Oh dear, you're right. I sense something is not right again. Human, please go and get the key to the glacial passage from the abandoned cave. Suwon will take you there. I think we know... Oh god, I'm not on the right part. I think we know this place. We've seen it. It's not dangerous, is it? Haha, <laughs> nothing has happened there for the last century. No one's ventured in there for a thousand years. <laughs> Anyways, we need to find out what's going on in the glacial zone before it's too late. It's getting late, so come back tomorrow when the sun is up. Tuom will guide you on this path. Let's go. Come back when the sun is up tomorrow. Well, we got we got stuff to do today, so that's nice. We have to come into the village, I'm assuming. Dang it. Oh, we need to talk to so many people, man. So many things happening all at once. I told you this game was crazy. Uh, I want to do some fishing, though. How do I have so much weight in my inventory? Oops. Because the... Oh, the jelly? Uh, the seahorses? I'm going to eat all the rest of the seahorses, by the way. Sorry to those that weren't good enough to become my racehorses. This is fucked up, man. <laughs> this is screwed up. Yeah, I'm going to leave you... I mean... You know what? Might as well. Might as well get some of these. Even though they're heavy as shit. They make some decent sushi. And we already got so many jellyfish, we don't really need anything else. Got it. He towed five kilos today. It's insanely heavy. These things are make incredible sushi. I just need to figure out how to make some of the higher level meals. But for that, we, we are going to find... We need to find someone who we can just, like, constantly send out on expeditions to get more of those resources. Because those are really limiting. Those are limiting factors. Having the... <clears throat> having enough salt and stuff like that. Go to sleep. Bullets. This is amazing. 
taking all of you guys. Oh. Nope, stay away. I can shoot you though. Eat shit. I think all of these make like the most. I mean, because they're deep down, they're, they make the most expensive sushi. I'll just take this guy like this. And then we're already. Oh, never mind. He's ta- I'm stupid. He's tanky. Wait, he's not even attacking me. Is he? Just running away the wrong way. I mean. That's cool though, that you can just like continue your mission. I don't know why I thought it made sense for them to do it the other way, where you just like had to. You couldn't ever leave the village, fucking chicken. Get out of here. Gonna have to spike you twice. You can upgrade my thing. Even though I've not even really been using my. <clears throat> my harpoon too much, I've mostly just been. hush dart fishing. has been fairly effective. Only two hits for them to go down. I don't know how you killed... I guess I could hush dart them, maybe. I'm not really going to be using this, so I'm just going to decom... De construct. I don't know why the word's so hard to find for me. Oh, give me this, give me this. Wait, you can drop the stones on him. I see. Okay, that's insanely heavy and terrible, but I see. I understand. I don't have any ammo though, so I can't really deal with these guys. I'm just gonna slip right by ya. You don't mind? Slip right by ya. Got the explodey ones. Even really, yeah, I mean, oxygen is always good, but. Oh, stay right. Thank you. I need more bullets. Like, getting so much meat... Like, we have such a big inventory, so... Also, using our hush start all the time makes we get so much value out of each trip, because every meat is, like, the maximum amount of meat from each fish. They're like a large fish. Oh, this is the area where we already been. Boom. I want to do some sushi restaurant business, man. I want to see how, how much money we can make. And the next day I want to check out. Uh, let's just leave. I'm fine. I'm fine with what I got. I want to see. Um, I want to do some sushi business. And I want to see what cut where the uh, people we can hire tomorrow so we can maybe send them off. I'm assuming you can't send multiple people because otherwise you could just hire many, many people and send them all out on missions and get like infinite money. Uh, hmm, a stone adhesive for use underwater. Let's see. Oh, good. It was in the corner here. Haha. -ha. This should do. There's stone glue? <laughs> I guess. I should go back to the... I mean, I guess cement in a way. <laughs> I'll go back to the Sea People Village and attach the arm of the King Long statue. Okay, so we're gonna just keep everything, use it as ingredients now. No longer interested. So we got three diamonds, ten of this. Um, got all that stuff, man. Two fish tank? What? I pressed two fish tank. Yeah, how much can I sell the... I probably can't sell. Why can't you sell at night? What's wrong with you? Um, does this... Used to enhance weapons still. Okay. Um, let's see. Weapons store. Our start. How close are we? We are... We have enough... Fr oh, wait. What? Yeah. Wait, we have enough. I start level two. Get it? Oh, boy. Anime time. Every fucking time, dude. New weapon. Hush start to equip it right away. Yes. Okay. I got an achievement. Enhanced gun three times. There's no more? Further enhanced tranquilizer gun. Tranquilized creatures will be of higher grade. Wait, so it's maxed? It's maxed out? Not getting any better? Wait. 
But I don't have... Last time I started with a level 1 bitch. Right? Didn't I have a level 3? I guess it's... I guess it's like a passive upgrade. It still has... What is a magazine of 6? What the fuck? That's amazing. Nice. Okay, we that's so useful. Dude, we're gonna go crazy. Uh, everything else I don't care about at all. Um, and we're just going... We had finished one of these, right? Yeah. We're going... We're doing it slowly but surely. 210, man. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Okay, uh, to the farm, we need to do our, our management. I just wish this is the one thing. Like, this loading screen right here, I wish it was slightly faster. It's pretty fast. I, I mean, it's pretty damn fast. What am I complaining about? Um... But there's quite some loading screen action going on. Also, this rice is going to be done soon. I don't think we're really going to have to worry about this. Um, yeah, okay, never mind. It's actually insanely fast. And this is going to be awesome. We're going to get so many jellies. I love it. Fish farm is amazing. And people said I am not even near <laughs> done. Like, there's still so much craziness going to happen. So I was like, what the hell? What could it possibly be? You, this place is rather hot. Is the food ready yet? Be honest now. I won't chide f you for it if it isn't. Here you are. This food will make your inspiration skyrocket. Looks like an explosive dish, all right. It looks nice, but will the taste justify its fanciness? Try it first. Oh. Oh boy. A liver. Oh, the increase. I was like, what the? Dish. Here you go. That looks crazy, dude. That's so many sushi. This is the whole sushi plate. That looks yummy. I'm actually going to be eating sushi tonight. I always order sushi <laughs> when I play Dave the Diver because I'm like, I know I'm going to be craving sushi after playing it. <laughs> oh. It's going to explode. <laughs> of course he is. <laughs> ah, it's going to be yes such powerful inspiration it fills my soul i haven't felt this way in a while this rice it's not easy to find such rice in these parts how did you i had some help from a friend i'm glad you like it if you continue making your masterful movies that pluck at the heartstrings you're welcome to eat here whenever you like you're quite the man i like your style perhaps my next movie should be about a sushi bar it should feature a man with a missile launcher in one hand. What kind of story is that? Haha, <laughs> in any case, I think I'm all set thanks to you. This is a Robot Samurai poster with my autograph. You can have it as a gift. My gosh, Robot Samurai. You look forward to the next movie. You can look forward to the next movie. It's sure to be an exhilarating one. Here we get another poster. We got a thousand gold! Jesus. Okay. I need to hang this stuff up. So let's go to interior. Uh, decor. Can I hang here? This one. That one just goes on that pillar, and then on like decor. No, not below it. Seven? No. Three. I want to do it. Yeah, this pillar. Oh, I can't hang. What the hell? Wait, but I can choose what to hang up there though. I already. Oh, the fish photos. Wait, hey, cool. I got so many things. I can just decorate. I agree. Or that we can do blowfish. Yes. Uh, we don't have anything here. We have a plant. I'll put a plant there. We get a Christmas tree. Um, then we have this thing. Wait, I can ch I can only choose which one to put on there. I'm sorry, but the the signed poster, I feel like is more... I, I think this is more fitting. I like this more, honestly. I'm sorry, samurai fans or robot samurai, whatever the fuck. Um, I have to purchase this. A fish print. I can hang up whatever. Kind of, it would be cool if it's like us. Just like give it a, give it a. No, we're professionals, right? Wait, cancel. We're professionals. Apply it. We'll apply the interior. Yes. Look at that. Okay. Um, I have people, or I have a campaign running. I think that's what that means. Cool, cool. And then we can we do more research. We can definitely do more research. Oh boy. 
Yeah, I think I haven't seen this one before. What the fuck? That's cool. Oh my god, that is insane. 550? Are you crazy? Dude, all these dishes are so expensive. Oh, what? Let's see, can we make any of these? Details. We can't make that one. We can almost make this one. We just need some soy sauce. And then we go absolutely buck wild. We just need some soy sauce for this. It's not that expensive, though. We need small... Okay, so soy sauce is like the most important ingredient. This one we have so much of. It's crazy. Let's research that one. And then the rest with the research later. Okay, check the menu. Uh, and check our... Upgrade our staff as well. I'm gonna... Can I train you even more? Damn, you're going crazy mode. Level six. Wait, I kind of just... Oh, can learn another skill. Cooking plot. All right, here we go. <laughs> Damn, dude, she got 470 cooking skills. She's insane. Oh, I'm training. Can I even train you twice? I probably cannot. What is your next thing? Are you going to be able to do cleaning master? It cleans up messes very quickly. I can't do that. Wait, wait, what? I don't want to dispatch. No. Training. You're like good at everything. And what is he? Is he going to learn anything? Nope. Actually, you're not very good. <laughs> I mean, you're just too good at you're going to be procuring probably for us because you're like the all rounder. Uh, cool, though. We got a pretty insane squad. And we're going to be hiring so more soon. Now let's set our menu. What do we got here? We can make this 500 max level. Oh, that's that's the dish, the special dish from the hermit crab. I will throw that on there. That's like a, a one I'm only dish. Then we have this thing, which is I could enhance it, but that seems like super wasteful. Also, this is an absolutely wild dish. It only requires rice and it is so expensive. What the fuck? And it makes six per piece. Goodness gracious, that's insane. Okay, let's upgrade it once. Get a cutscene. Hey there, friend. I can't get enough of the cutscenes. I'm sorry. I know you've probably already seen them a hundred times, but there's the exude style. They're just fun. And he's gonna destroy the whole restaurant. Yep. magical place i still don't know how people get to this like it seems like it's in the middle of nowhere do people just walk along the beach to get to our restaurant that seems a bit strange there you go okay we're gonna do so we're gonna only put one on here and then auto supply sure we have this thing 220 what the fuck this shit's insane oh wait a minute but it's problematic because they both share the same ingredients oh I think I'm just going to not put any of these on there so that we can sell maximum of the other one. This one is expensive. This one is expensive. Uh, I think I'll... How much is that? That enhanced. That's pretty expensive to enhance. I think I'm just going to throw these on here. This is like our, our go-to ingredients. I wish we could have sold... What the fuck did I just throw on there? Whoopsie daisy. I just... Well, I guess I threw one on there. <laughs> did not mean to do that, but oopsie daisy. Um, I just pressed the space bar too fast. I throw that on there. We're just, I'm just, what's this? Oh, we need more more eel. Make that dish even better. Look at these. These are so simple, yet they're so expensive. Cool, cool. We have more. We don't have more. All right, now auto supply these. I want to auto supply all of them except the one I accidentally put on there. I don't want to take it off because it's just going to waste the ingredients. But this is how you properly do it, by the way. You auto supply. I guess this is why one putting one on there and auto supplying can lead to problems because this one and this one share ingredients. So this one won't be able to auto supply because this one has already took the resources, right? So that's how that's how auto supply goes wrong. But still, I would say it's almost always the best way to go. Regardless, though, let's open the sushi restaurant and have our best day yet, yet by far. Hopefully, Here we go. You can serve it 10 times? Oh my god. This is insane. You better buy it a lot, man. 
better make me rich here. Oh god, I need to go fast. I need to go fast. People are going crazy, man. I can't do this in time. Go, 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 go. I need people that can... I need someone who can help me do this. I'm not going to be able to do this in time. And then she's going to get mad. And then I'm going to... No, I was... Fuck that one up just to get it in time. I need to do wasabi too. Okay, come on. That was perfect. Well, how was that perfect? There was no foam. I mean, I guess people don't want much foam. What if I just don't... How is that perfect? I just... Oh, that's good. All right. Anyway, I'm going to do some wasabi. How much money? Oh, my God. We're making so much money. This is insane. We're making so much damn money. Go, go, go. Okay. We need to sell more of the special one, though, because that's going to go to waste. I, I get... Oh, God. I fucked up that one. Completely. <laughs> We're only selling five. This is, I guess, why I shouldn't have put more on there. So we can... Oh, my God. Look at the amount of money we got, though. This is insane. I'm fine with whatever happened there. We got seven and a half thousand. Goodness gracious. <laughs> and our, our beer sucks ass, though. Every time I fuck it up. I need someone who can make it for me, man. Whew. That was wild. So, yeah, that was... <laughs> Look at that. Holy shit. Net profit, 6,700. Absolutely wild. Yes, I wasted some sushi. Do I care? No, I made 7,000 in a single night. That's insane. What? It's been a long road becoming a great master. What the fuck is going on? What is this? Is this his room? Anime room? Sir? A lot of anime figurines. <laughs> body pillow! Not the body pillow! <laughs> Not the body pillow. <laughs> the, what the fuck? Goodness gracious, what the hell is going on, dude? What? I'm losing my mind. Is that a concert or something? <laughs> what the fuck? What? What is going on? A life stage begins in Duff's dream? When the high button reaches the cursor, press the... What are, what are you talking about? Use... The mouse to move your hand up and down to hit the green note. And an orange note appears. Shake left and right for loud applause. Now it's time to do some cheering. Fuck. What? Oh, I gotta do both. What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm doing something. I'm losing it, man. Oh, God. Actually, like, genuinely catchy, though. I don't know what to say. Okay. I'm so focused. <laughs> ah. Oh, here we go. Maximum points. Dude, he maxed it out. Damn, look at that. Perfect score on the first try. Easy peasy. I don't know what is happening in my life right now. <laughs> Excellent score. What is this? Am I playing Osu? 
Did you play enough? Yes, thank you. Uh oh, he's gonna get a heart attack. <laughs> that was incredible. I don't know what to say. <laughs> A new mobile game called Leia's Run is now available. You can play the game from your phone's game factory. <sighs> okay. All right. Well, um, no comments. Let's move on <laughs> from whatever the fuck just happened. Like, why were we in his dream? By the way, Benson asked me to bring him the glacial passage key. I must return to the elder's place in the Sea People village. Okay. We're starting there. Never mind, we're getting a phone call. Sure, the picture you took was very well received. Oh, great to hear that. I hear my superiors want to assign me another task. If I bring them a picture as nice as the previous ones, I have an offer for you. Do you want to join me and take a picture that will stand the test of time? What are you planning to take a picture of? You know about manta rays? Of course, they are the one of the largest of their kind. I've seen one of those majestic creatures firsthand. Good, I am planning to take a picture of them. What do you think? All right, I am sold. But, but, they are not... Yeah, they only show... Up at night and we need some lure to attract them sir i will prepare my equipment could you find a lure in the meantime um i don't know what manta rays feed on i am sure you will figure that out in no time i will count on you then tell me when you've got the lure hmm, what would manta rays feed on ellie is the best when it comes to ecology should i give her a call okay there's always something happening also look at our fucking cash man we got seven thousand what kind of mail is here should i check it Oh, let's go another event. Tuna party. Hello, resident. Blue Hole Tourism Board here. The Blue Hole is getting more and more well-known and interest is growing. In three days, a yacht party will be held as a lot of wealthy people will likely come. There's a restaurant that can handle preparing high-class tuna dishes. This could significantly increase sales. We ask for your support until it becomes the best attraction in the world. Cool. Dave, have you read the email you just got? Yeah, it says there will be a tuna party soon. Right, and tuna is Sushi's best friend. We can sell them for a good profit. I haven't seen a tuna in a blue hole for a while. It's the beginning of tuna season now. We will be able to make a fortune using this party. Mm, but isn't it difficult to catch tuna? I heard they are very fast swimmers. That's why the investment is needed. In the afternoon, I will bring a tool that can catch tuna. I will see you later then. Okay, we're getting more stuff. There's all, as I said, there's always something happening. This game is incredible. <laughs> okay, um, we had another email though. Best diving spot? Hey there, divers. This is Diver City. Today we are introducing Hammerheads Paradise of Costa Rica's Bayo Alkion. Hammerheads can be found in Cocos Island, only accessible through Liveboard. You can meet a group of over 100 depending on the season. Terrifying. Can we call this? Cypher City? Can we call that number or? <clears throat> no. Anyway, we should call Ellie. Oh, how's it going? How do you know? Do you know what manta rays feed on? Hmm. I know what manta rays eat. Oh, really? They feed on plankton at night. Drop something that lures glowing plankton at night and they will come. And you will need five kelp to lure plankton. Hmm. It's made of kelp. It's not necessarily. But they will work too. Just bring me some. I think I already got that. What? Oh, you got it? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> now input this here. <laughs> Woohoo, got some eco points. You suck every time I forget you're a piece of shit. Hey, this has nothing to do with the lure. Oh, don't be disappointed yet. Da -da, the lure capsule. Oh, just drop this lure and you will lure all the plankton in the area. It's made of high quality ingredients. Goodbye then. I got the lure now. I must tell Udo about it. Oh my god, I'm fucking... Ah, uh, this must be the lure for the manta rays. <laughs> my mouth is watering. I'm kidding. Anyways, I need to prepare to take pictures at night. Yeah. I will call you when I am ready. Hey, hey. Okay. Dude, we got seven fucking thousand buckaronis. We can upgrade, but first of all, we gotta go to the farm. We gotta do our basics. Basic stuff. Get the weeds out of the farm. Then we go back to the sushi restaurant. Um, to try and... Can I make the nutrients go up? Go back to the sushi restaurant to see who uh, applied for our... Hiring request. Let's see. Staff. Hiring in progress still? Oh, wait, what? Didn't I hire yesterday? 
We could train. What do you do again? Cleaner cleans up messes quickly. That's not very good, but you are like our best server by far. I'll spend 900 to make you like the best server. I need a better. I need someone to replace you and I need someone to replace you in the serving business because you're going to go. Actually, you know what? No, oh, I can't do that right now. Actually, you should be able to do everything just fine. Let's do a dispatch on you. I want soy sauce because everything needed soy sauce. So dispatch. And then you're we can drop in another staff here. For the, it doesn't really matter. Can I dispatch you too? Wait, you can dispatch people? What? One to two? Or just having this random employee? Sure. I think this guy can do it alone, right? He's got 320. You know what? Just because he might not. Let's upgrade him one one more time. Nah, nah he's too expensive. Never mind. <laughs> Well, we'll be fine with one guy. I think we can handle it. Also, the night's not going to be very long because we're going to be doing some night fishing. Anywho, um, this is cool. You can do as many dispatch operations as, as you can. That's insane. We're going to get so much money. We're going to get absolutely ludicrously rich. Um, we should... How much does a diamond sell for? I need to know. What's this? A doll that looks like Dave. <laughs> 70 for diamond ore that doesn't seem right but anyway uh i want to see i mean that's just an investment right that's what we call an investment it's extremely expensive and then we won't be able to hire someone i'm doing it fuck it that's an investment we got 125 we just increased it by so much we need to go to the sea people village though you can always sell some stuff, right? Because he still sells in the... No, does he still sell in the afternoon? I think he does. You can still sell him uh, some stuff. To make more money. Alright, I can do more quests for you guys. Sorry, but I'm no longer interested. I'm almost only helping you guys out for my own self-interest. Which is to help you guys. I don't really know why I'm... What exactly was this whole thing all about? They were like, you gotta help us out so you can help us out. <laughs> what the fuck was this ultimatum? Like, I don't know if we can trust you to help us out. How about you help us out first, so then you can help us out more? And I'm like, okay. <laughs> like, what? what is in it for me, dude? Oh, you have returned, human. The abandoned cave is an old abandoned sea people's village. I, I gathered that based on the title being abandoned cave. The glacier pa glacier passage key is in that place. Suwam will guide you. Godspeed. Oh, I thought you fled, human. Suwam, the best warrior of the sea people, will guide you to the place. Follow me. Guy is annoying as hell. I don't want to deal with this fool. He's he's totally gonna mess something up. Oh, he's it's gotta be that door, right, that we saw. Here, human, go bring me to the glacier passage key. I thought you were supposed to bring me. So dreary and dark. Why is this place locked anyway? Mm, I am not sure. I heard stories about some crazy sea people locked up somewhere, though. I heard the insane ones attacked other sea people. But that was like a thousand years ago. Sea people only live about 300 years, so don't okay. worry. Mm, I am nervous. Are you coming with me? I'm the best warrior of my people. Do you want to, me to do such a mundane task? I will stay here and protect the area. Hurry up and bring me the key. I knew you wouldn't go in. It's hidden in one of the deepest areas. Look for a room with, Muro, with a mural. Let me know when you are ready, human. You are fucking useless. So I'll take these guys. Hi there. Are you ready? Yes, sure. Right, this is probably going to be a mission that's going to take the whole day, but it's fine. We don't have many ingredients, though, but we sold most of them. Oh, place. It's cold in here. Oh, it's cold. The key should be deeper inside a room with a mural, if I remember correctly. Okay. Okay, time. We're going to go deeper. We got to go deeper. There are sea people or something. get these glowing mushrooms oh there's treasure don't mind if i'll be ta stealing your treasure you're not here to check on me anyway what a cute sea bream must have come through that small crack oh it's gonna get eaten 
Yup. <laughs> This is the horror section. I mean, holy cow, what was that? The ancient sea people Suwam talked about. They're still alive. It's fortunate that they are still locked in the cells. I should not draw their attention. Okay, we're doing sneaky mode. Is this a trap? It looks like a trap. It's gonna close on me, isn't it? Definitely looks like it. Oh, give me more of this. Oh, they are purple. Over bowl. I think it only sells for like 50, but might give us enough money to be able to hire another employee. Do you just want to kind of hire as many employees as possible so you can just send them out on missions? This must be the room Suam talked about where the mural is. But where's the key? It's a puzzle. This picture seems to imply something. It's a puzzle, obviously. Um circle. Boom. Then big rock. Not correct. Big rock. Where? Easiest puzzle of my entire. Oh, oops. It's gonna stay. It's like Jenga. Somehow. <laughs> Hopefully that counts. And bada bing, bada boom. Okay, it's not good enough. There you go. What the fuck? There, is that the key? Easy peasy, something is telling me it's not gonna be this easy though. Oh, the device, this must be the Glacier Passage key. What a creepy place, I better pick up the key and quickly leave. Yeah, I better quickly leave. It's like an Indiana Jones situation. Uh, at last, playing that artifact hunting adventure game pays off. The movie was not that great though. Shall I return to the Sea People Village now? I don't think. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. The tremors. Boss fight against you? <clears throat> I. Oh no, another earthquake. I heard something crumbling. Uh oh. Deliver the key to Tenzin. Why is Suwam not in here, huh? He could have done anything. Let me guess. He's going to be like, I got the key. Blah, 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 blah. Of course he is. He's fucking annoying. Why? <laughs> Covering his mouth like he's making noises. Even though he's bubbling. This is ridiculous. No, the exit is blocked. And now the sea monsters have come out. I must avoid them without getting caught. The fuck? The Don is the name of ancient sea people who were mutated for some reason. No guns or knives can kill them. Escape the cave, cave without being spotted. What the hell? Terrifying. I'm sneaking behind you. I'm a sneaky boy. This is now a stealth game. Gameplay always shifting. Never two moments that are the same. Keep you on edge. What? Hold it. What am I doing? Pushing them. Pushing and pulling them. Doesn't really do anything. Did I do something? Oh, fuck. Okay. Maybe there's something back there that I can find. Do I need to remember the order of this? Please don't tell me I need to. I want the bolt. Oh, I got. Oh, no, 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 or stealth quest. I hate it here. Okay, so even if you get a, if you get found a single time, you immediately fucking die. So do not be found. That's that's as easy as it gets. Okay, so I don't don't worry about the treasure. The treasure doesn't matter. Okay, so it is cro crossed arm guy, praying guy, and also praying guy with a hat. Ow, my face. 
that hurts. Okay, so he's over there. I don't want to be there. I don't know if I'm just going in circles or something. Oh boy. This is going to be fast. Speed. Speed is of the essence. Freaking trap me, dude. Oh, here we go. That was easy. Oh no. Big fish. They're going to be chasing me out. Run. So I'm just gonna be like, what took you so long? Oh, he's not even here. He didn't even fail. He, he failed at his simple job. Are you kidding me? This guy is super useless. Wow, I knew Suwon was not going to wait for me. Anyway, I got the key. Now I must return to. Imagine he just fucking died. Oh, um. Oh no, what the fuck? He's gonna hunt the... Wait, it's John Watson again, this fucking asshole. You're robbing graves now as if destroying the environment wasn't good enough. Uh, that is the sea people's... Be quiet! Whoever harms the great sea will have to contend with sea blue and the wrath of I, John Watson. Feel my eco-friendly sea blue armor R RX-93 and its power. Uh oh, he's a fucking bomb. You monster. You are an environmental disaster. <laughs> You're gonna pay now. <gasps> I hate it here. John was fuck. Hey, at least we, we've never had an episode without a boss battle. You know, there's always gonna be one, which is crazy because the episodes are like two hours long, which means that on average, it's like a boss fight every one and a half hours. No amount of words can save that thick skulled moron. That suit looks very tough. No bullets will penetrate it. Stones, though? Sticks and stones may break my bones. Oh, how about this? How about his own bombs? Are the missiles slowing down? If only I could direct it at him. Is there anything that can deflect the missiles? Yeah, his own stupidity. Ah! <laughs> Even my armor can negate the firepower of my hyper blaster. That was a nice trick, but this will end now. Shoot at me. You are a silly goober. Good. Nice try. What are you doing? Shoot a bomb. Yes. Ow, but it did damage to him as well, right? You should really be careful, though. Just stay away. Oh my god! I need to run. I'm gonna shoot a bomb. Yeah, I'm out of air. I need to get oxygen, but fuck. Get it. Go, go, go. Oh, shit. I hate it here. Okay, he's gonna dash, and I'm gonna get the oxygen from here. That's a bat! Oh my god, he goes so far. Come on, shoot a bomb. Oh, that's not a bomb. There. Do we loop? Is this, this is probably not the only way you're supposed to do this. Also, I'm covering it up. There's a cannon down here. Easy peasy. <laughs> Wait, what? Why did I not kill him? Why, he was like smashing the button and stuff. Oh god. Oh my god, dude. What a fucking dash. Uh oh, we got another one though. Oh, go for it. No! Q! Get it. Oh my god. Holy shit, it's not far enough. Wait, maybe? Wait, what the fuck? Am I doing, am I supposed to shoot them with something? Why are you so good at predicting my movement? 
What are you, fucking archers in Dark Souls 2? Come on. Here we go. Okay, maybe. Maybe we can... That does not do anything. That was just a disaster. I think I was doing the right idea, but... Like, the game just didn't seem to recognize my... Get working at all, so I just kind of. I, I think I'm just gonna go back to like looping it around. Oh, maybe the baseball bat, of course. Of course, the baseball bat. I didn't even think about that. Shoot one. There we go. Okay, I understand. <sighs> Fuck. Oh my god. Idiot. Okay, so I didn't even do anything yet. I haven't done any damage to him at all. Even though it said there was like 36 on his character before. Uh-oh. I need to not... Oh, here we go. Boom. Oh, God. No! I didn't think he was... Oh, God! I got 27 seconds! No! I'm dead. I'm gonna move. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Come on. Let this be the last one. Come on. Shoot. Shoot, sir. Fuck you. I'm dying. Shoot, 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 shoot. Yeah, here we go. Let's go! <laughs> Just in time. And then I'm gonna die immediately because of blood or because of uh, no oxygen. Grrr. My eco-friendly sea blue armor RX-93 is... I can't forgive you destroying nature. Rah, 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 rah. <laughs> He's gonna drown. He immediately gets crushed by the water pressure. You are tenacious. He was wearing high-tech diving gear. Should I bring it to Cobra? He may find useful parts out of this. But I'm gonna die immediately because I got... Oh, thank you for giving me some water for some oxygen there. That is very kind of you. See a bunch of complex mechanical parts. I should pick up some samples. It's time to deliver the glacial passage key to Tenzin. Okay. Thank you for speedrunning me over there. This could have gone bad. That was right on the edge of death there. Hi, friend. I did everything and you guys did absolutely nothing. Oh, you actually brought the glacial passage key. Suwon told me that he cleared the area and the key is free to be picked up, but I guess it took you some time. Um, I almost got eaten by nasty sea monsters. Are you telling me Godons? Are they still alive? Gaydons? Hmm, this is the dark history of the sea people. You want to hear it? I have a short version and a long version. Which one would you like to hear? Give me the long one. Good, I'm going to tell you the story of the God Godons. Okay. Dude, this art style. About 800 years ago, the Godons were the pinnacle of their civilization. Our ancestors had many devices far more technologically advanced than that of humans in the old days. These advanced techno technologies allowed them to live in peace and prosperity. But then the Fire Nation attacked. I mean, wait, what? It was all possible due to the divine tree fruits. These fruits provided the perfect balance of temperature and energy, and they lasted so long. The fruits that could only grow in the deep sea were like a blessing to our ancestors. However, someone got greedy. There are always those who are blinded by greed. Dashi, one of the senior technicians, wanted to apply the powers of the fruits beyond mundane purposes. He pro processed the fruits secretly and used them to modify the anatomy of the sea people. He modified the bodies of your ancestors. Yes, it all went in the, it all went well in the beginning. Modified individuals exhibited strength far exceeding that of ordinary sea people. But Dasha was not satisfied with modifying the fruits and wanted to go further. He wanted to extract energy directly from the divine tree. Oh. To do so, he began to infuse the extracted energy into an ancient creature called the Yawi. Well, I don't know everything. Ab don't understand everything, but it so definitely sounds dangerous. Did King Long know about that? At that time, King Long was busy with the task of building the control room to ensure a steady supply of resources from the tree. He was puzzled at the increased performance of the workers, but he had no clue what was going on. And one day... 
The bodies of those infused with the energy of the tree began to exhibit weird changes. Their body turned pale and their limbs twisted. They became so violent that they began to attack other sea people. They are the monsters I encountered earlier. Earlier, Fortunately for us, the mutated ones hate light so they don't come near the village. King Long himself went into the control room, captured the Godons, and locked them up in the abandoned cave. In the course of suppressing them, King Long suffered fatal wounds and later died. But it happened about 800 years ago, and I didn't even know that Godons were still alive. That means maybe some of them may still be roaming the Glacier Passage. Uh-oh, and you are expecting me to go in there? I beg you, the sea people have we been weakened by our ranching lifestyle. Right now, you're the only one we know who can help us find the cause of the earthquake and temperature rise happening in the glacial area. Okay, fine. Thank you, human brother. Oh, and take this. It's my gift to you. This is the sea people's necklace. Wear this and the two worms in the deep sea will retreat. You know those strange worms that look like sticks? That's it for now. You must be tired. Have a good rest and meet me tomorrow. I'll tell Suman to guide you. No, please, no. Please leave this guy out of my life forever. To the entrance of the Glacier Passage. Okay, that's not very useful, though. Deliver the key to Tenzin. I did it. And I can't keep going. I thought it was going to send me the bed. No, Mom. Just one more game. Um, so we can finish our fishing trip. Because we got a lot to do. You need to send people for salt as well, dude. Knowing now... Thank you guys for letting me know. Like, knowing you can send people... It's going to be crazy. We're going to... That is truly going to allow us. I don't even care about any of these people. Do I have to do the quest? Let me know. Do I have to do the quest? Is there going to be something important from it? Because I'd rather just focus on the fishing. They might might give me something good. But I honestly don't really care about these people at all. <laughs> They're like side quest dispensers. Get away from me. Um, I want to do fishing. Maybe you can get like superpowers or something. Why don't they learn me how to breathe on the water? That would be... That'd be very useful. Okay. I think I'm just gonna do another... Like, try and get all these. Because this was very successful for us last time. Obviously, we sold like $3,000 worth of the like super special fish that we can't get anymore. I need to figure... I guess I should have put less stuff on the menu there. Maybe because someone said like... I can see auto supply being like non... Not optimal if you like want to sell a specific dish so maybe in that case i should have only put on like all the dish all the special dish and then like um like put only another few very expensive dishes on it and then left everything else i'm not, I'm not sure because i i only sold like half of the special dish you would think that they would prioritize the most like look at that by the way six bullets is crazy you would think that they would prioritize the best dish, but I guess they just don't. People are stupid. I just want chicken teriyaki. And this is gonna give us so much. <laughs> Being able to shoot six times. Go, go, go. And I'm gonna get... Um, Thanks for these now. Because I have a new fishing thing. Which, there's definitely going to be way deeper fish. If you look at the fish farm, there's three middle row things. And then at the bottom, there's still more. Which... I mean, there's also suit upgrades that go until, like, I don't even know how deep. But yeah, there's going to be way deeper. That's the thing with these games. Like, it's similar to, like, Subnautica or something. When you think you've reached the bottom, you are not even close. Like, you're about to go way, way, way deeper. Which I've been thinking about Subnautica a lot recently, especially playing this game. If it wasn't for... I think that's going to be something for, like, next Nostalgia Month. Like, next year or something. Maybe a year after that, even. I don't know. But I can't wait to revisit some of the games and have, like, a great excuse to do so. For Subnautica is very good. Very good game. Especially the... Especially the OG one. I like uh, Below Zero as well. But it's just, it just doesn't have that magic that the first one has for me. And there were some, some places. I don't think I can... Can I sleep you with the upgraded version I got? Let's see. Will you sleep? Nope, he did I think... 
People said I had to upgrade my hush dart in order for it to work, but I doubt that's the case. Oh my god, you're going. Oh. Where are you supposed to get this? I need to disassemble this. Shoot. Get it. I can't get this in time, dude. Oh, I, I can get it. Two fragments for all my trouble. I will take the diamonds, though, because that's so much money. Choppy choppy. I like that they made reasons for you to, like, fish the earlier fish as well. Like, if you can make special dishes, the earlier fish can still make you a lot of money. But you're mostly just interested in the future fish, like the new fishes. Like the deep sea fish just alone, like that alone will sell for a lot of money. Oh god, um, fuck, fuck. Sleep, 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 sleep. Why? You explode yourself like an idiot. I want to eat you. I don't know why you would want the bracelet. That seems so useless. I mean, it's it obviously has a use, but like such a minor inconvenience to uh, use the UV light. Why would you waste the whole uh, necklace slot on that? Also, I'm definitely going to be eating these. I would really like this one. Nice. Go sleepy. Oh, no, no. And I can still get all of these? That's insane. This upgraded dart is incredible. You're very heavy, though. Seven kilos. I didn't even realize. Um, I don't think I'm gonna... Yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter. I need ammo. Ammo. Maybe you can disassemble that as well. I don't know. I don't see myself ever using any other weapon besides this one. I mean, I guess if you need to fight the big fish. Also, look at this. This is not a... Is this a wheel? I guess it's a wheel. They said it was a wheel. You go in here. You can go in there. Passage. There's ammo there. I'm sorry, but I'm quickly going to get it. I'll take it. And I'll take you. Little fish. Even though you're like five kilos, because everything down here weighs like a ton. Yeah, three kilos for a tiny red bream. Don't know how that works. I guess stuff is just denser down here. Oh, what's that? Oh yeah, we need one more of this. Also a big fish. All right, here we go. We can ask Bancho. Get poisoned. No, get killed me. That way. Get my distance. Just keep him poisoned. Oh boy. Oop. That did not hit his fat head for some reason. Bye bye. And then we have all these jellies here. And look how much storage we still we still got. This is crazy. <laughs> 11 kilos though holy fuck hopefully i can go way more overweight now as well jawbone i think that's just for selling hope i can go into like 50. no what the fuck man i mean this is already so much <laughs> look at that how much fish you bring up that's crazy can I even do- I can't decom- Can't get rid of it. I really hate this mini game, though. Anyway, we need to leave. Because we're full. Was there any- Anything nearby? Oh no. I haven't died in a while. He says. Before he's about to die. Forget I need to really keep, like, a mental image of when the last escape pod was, because- I don't remember. I it, I know there was one down here, like in the middle, close to the sea village. I think so. There it is. And I'm out of here. And we got an insane amount of money. We should, we're gonna do some night fishing, right? Boop. Bye bye. 
just reading a book. Reading a fishing book. Let me guess, there's gonna be like 17 people calling me, 6 people messaging me on whatever. Uh, rank 4? Okay, so I need to keep the rank 4, because that might be a good one. You can see it based on the rank. That's the deepest we've gone yet. Look at that. And a lot of fish, holy shit. The fish tank, yes please. I would like to sell you. Well, let's hunt tuna for real, shall we? Take this. It's a steel net sensor trap. Even the swiftest and biggest tuna cannot escape this trap. And I got a secret weapon for the day's hunt. The underwater drone, this is the thing that I like kept popping up if I wanted to catch specific fish. I see. Underwater drone. It took me quite some time to replace the one you broke last time. It's very expensive stuff to buy, you know? But that wasn't my fault. It broke the moment I activated it. <laughs> I made a big investment for a moment like this. This is what a businessman does. Let me show you how to use it. Just follow my instructions. Dive in the water. Um, I think... Uh, we're gonna do that next time. I'm sorry to call it here, but I... <laughs> I don't want to, like... <laughs> do the tutorial and then be confused when I do the next episode because I think this is gonna be something for uh but the next time we come back I uh, this episode was the craziest one yet and I keep saying that but it keeps getting more crazy I mean we did a fucking rhythm game at some point during this we made like 7,000 in a single day it seems like and now I know I can send my employees out to get resources, which means we're going to be able to craft a lot of the expensive research recipes because I really wasn't using those, which means our sales will be going up and up and up and up. And now we are just going to make so much money and we're going to be able to hire more employees, get more stuff. It's going to be awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. I was also uh, talking about a lot of fun stuff. Uh, there's a lot of st fun stuff. I, I, I love doing what I do. So thank you guys for supporting that and just hanging out. Uh, having a great time with me i've been loving this game and i'll see you guys in the next episode thank you so much for watching if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it and if you want to join the live streams you can join us over at twitch.tv slash instant link in the description down below thank you so much i'll see you in the next one bye guys have a good one bye bye